So I know there are a ton of videos on the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro out there, but this is the video you care about. And I'm talking about gaming on the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro. Hey guys, Thunder E here from Board of Work and welcome to my gaming review on the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro to find out which of the two is better for you as a mobile gamer. Now, let's start off looking at the devices. The OnePlus 8 is a 6.55 inch device. It comes packed with a ton of cool features and comes in, of course, varying colors. You've got the glacial green, which looks really nice, and the interstellar glow, which is my favorite. It reminds me of the aura um, from Samsung with the Galaxy Note last year, and, but it's got a nice little pink hue to it. Now, in terms of specs, which is what we care about, is this comes with the Snapdragon 865 processor. It's a 5G device. Um, also comes with either eight or 12 gigs of RAM, and uh, you also have storage up to uh, 256. Now that is UFS 3.0 storage. So there's a lot packed into there. Now in terms of battery, you're looking at a 4,300 milliamp battery. So that's a nice boost, especially if you're gonna be gaming for a while. But to top it off, you've got the Warp 30T charger, which gives you fast charging on this device. Now stay tuned for our charging test. That's gonna be coming up and we'll show you how fast this device actually charges. Now the OnePlus 8 Pro comes in three different colors. We've got the Onyx Black, we've got the Glacial Green, and we've got that Ultramarine Blue. Really nice color. Now, as I mentioned with this device, it comes at a 6.7 inch uh, size. Uh, it also is powered by the Snapdragon A65 processor, another 5G device. So both of them are 5G, so you've got that there. Storage is, of course, a, uh, sorry, storage is 120 and 256. UFS 3.0 Plus is what OnePlus is calling it. They've got a system to make it a little bit faster. Uh, and of course, your RAM is eight or 12 gigabytes. Now, this device has a 4,510 milliamp battery. And of course, you have support for the Warp 30T charger, but there's also the Warp 30 wireless charging built into the device, which is actually interesting, and reverse wireless charging as well. So a little bit more features you would expect from a more premium device. But we don't care about that, right? Yeah, but we also know that both of them have some really nice camera arrays. Uh, the uh, OnePlus 8 has a 48 megapixel camera, while the OnePlus 8 Pro has two 48 megapixel camera, a better ultra wide, all that fun stuff. But uh, move that side. Gaming. Gaming is what we care about. Now, there's a game mode on this devices, which you heard, which we've known. Very simple, basic, nothing too extra. But what we care about is how the games function. And this is where you have some added features. The OnePlus 8 has a 90 hertz display, similar to last year's OnePlus 7. Actually, design-wise, they all look kind of similar to last year's device anyway. But as I mentioned, a 90 hertz display. This display is, uh, of course, a 1080p display, but it's much brighter at up to 1,000 nits. And all, unlike last year, it's, you can see this better in daylight, and also when you're playing, it looks really, really good. And you can play at 90 hertz at, of course, that uh, resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro takes it a step further at 120 hertz, and the display is a 2K display. And its max uh, nit brightness is 1300. Plus, you can also play at 2K and 120 hertz. So there are no limitations to your gaming experience, packed in with that 4,510 milliamp battery you have in there. Plus, you also have, of course, you know, just the overall performance packed in together. So, how well do our games perform? We're checking out, of course, PUBG Mobile and uh, Call of Duty Mobile. Fortnite, nah, sorry guys, I didn't play it. I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty right now on PC. But anyway, those games, at least PUBG, would give you an indication of performance because we're gonna put it on the max settings to see how well it performs. So we're gonna do some gameplay and also we'll see if we can get any games to play at that, uh, you know, higher frame rate, 90 frames per second, 120 frames per second, because we have displays that can support that. So let's take a quick look. We've taken the lead. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Cover me! No mercy! 
Okay, so gameplay is really good. You can see there were no slowdowns, it ran really smooth, and performance was really solid, plus the audio. Now, I forgot to mention, both of them have stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos, so you're getting some really crisp and clear, sharp audio on your device. That is actually pretty good. But you're thinking, Thunder, what about temperatures? Well, temps is where the OnePlus actually failed for me. Both of them. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes in at 100 degrees Fahrenheit while we're gaming. That is just way too hot. And the OnePlus 8 came in about 97, 98 degrees. Sometimes it almost picked up to 99. So again, that is quite hot, which is why I would recommend the Flydiggy Wasp Wing. I use this device to cool it. This is not sponsored anything. This is something I use. And I'll have a full video on this on my gaming channel for you guys to check out. But it really helped in cooling my OnePlus devices. It dropped it down by 10 degrees from that 100 to about 90 degrees, which is way more acceptable. I like it because it's got the LED lights behind and you can also increase the speed of those fans. So definitely worth picking up. It's only 19 bucks. Check out the link down below. But the fact that I have to use something like that to cool my device is not cool. That's something I think OnePlus needs to take into consideration when you're building the next OnePlus device or the T variant because cooling is really essential, especially the kind of performance they pack into this device. I mean, when you use it, scrolling is really fast, the display is really smooth, you get all the performance you need, but 
I would like it to stay cooler. Now, one thing that irked me is the fact that I couldn't find any games that ran 120 uh, frames per second or 90 frames per second on either of these devices, even though they had tons of games that ran on the devices last year. This is an Android issue because none of these games are updated to support the display as well as also the brand new processors. So hopefully that changes. I was able to find a few for the Galaxy and, a f and one for the Oppo and surprisingly for the OnePlus, none so far. I'm sure there are games that will support it, uh, but it's just something that is really annoying. The cameras are solid. Uh, both of them are really, really good. And the OnePlus 8 Pro camera has a better distinction with the 240 megapixel sensors, the ultra wide lens, and a better front facing camera, which you will see in our comparison video against the S20 Ultra and the other top tier phones with their cameras. Now, overall, you're probably asking, which is the best device for me to pick? I would say when you look at everything together and how the specs are really similar between the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro, uh, uh, when it comes to performance, I would have to go with the OnePlus 8. For me, the OnePlus 8 gives you the same gaming performance as the OnePlus 8 Pro. Yes, you know, you're using a 120 hertz display, you're using a 90 hertz display, but your performance is still overall generally the same. And of course, your battery drain is a little bit less than you have from a 120 hertz display at 2K resolution. If you're looking at gaming and looking to game at the max, then the OnePlus 8 is probably better for you. And also pricing wise, that's where the differentiation continues. Now, the pricing for both is the OnePlus 8 starts at $699 um, and goes up to $799. That's looking at the eight gigabytes, uh, 128 at $699 and 12 gigabyte, 256 at $799, which of course is that interstellar glow. While the OnePlus 8 Pro starts at $899 and goes up to $999. And of course the 999 variant is the Ultramarine Blue, which I have, which is the 12 gig 256. So there you go, guys. Those are both devices. My pick as a gamer is the OnePlus 8, cheaper, more effective. Now you can pick up both devices on 429 this month. They'll be available at oneplus.com, Amazon, and the OnePlus 8 will also be available on Verizon. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to more content on the OnePlus 8 and OnePlus 8 Pro on the channel. We have a battery charge test coming, a wireless charge test coming. We've got, of course, our camera comparison, our quad camera comparison coming as well. So if you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.